Hey everyone, I'm Kanamusha, and this is the 15th preview for the fall anime season. This is still part of the anime preview barrage, so that means even more previews are on their way, so you get to hear me talk even more about some more new anime that's coming up. And here's the trailer for you. Enjoy. This preview will be for Psychopaths, which is apparently going to be written by Gen Urobuchi, and the original character designs for this anime will be done by Akira Amano. Gen Urobuchi is the creator for the Fate Zero anime and the Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica anime, and Akira Amano is the writer of the Katako Hitman Reborn manga. And from the trailer, it's sort of obvious that, you know, Akira Amano is going to be working on the anime since that's all it shows, the, his character design, really. Psycho Pass will be produced by Production IG, which is best known for creating Blood to See, Blood Plus, The Break Blade Movies, Ghost in the Shell, and Fully Cooling. Psycho Pass will be directed by Shiotani Nayoshi, who has only really directed opening and ending animations before, and is pretty new at directing. I, I'm, I am expecting quite a bit of Production IG, since they have a good track record of producing great anime. To be honest, I'm thinking the new director might bring this anime down a bit, but maybe he can work a miracle. We can hope and dream that he can, but, you know, opening and ending is a lot different from actual anime. Okay, I might mess up some people's names in this segment, so please forgive me if I do. Let's go ahead and get on with this. Uh, the main male lead is Kagami Shunya, and he is played by Seki Tamakazu, who's best known for playing Gilgamesh in the Fate series, like Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero, all of them, Tojo and Beelzebub. Kenichi and History Strongest Disciple Kenichi, and Kyo in Fruit Baskets. The female lead is Suni Mori Hakani, and she is played by Hanazawa Kana, who is best known for playing Kanade in Angel Beats, Sakura Ichiko in Bimbogami Ga, and Kabado from Boku wa Tamadachi Ga Sukanai. Overall, the voice cast for this series looks pretty impressive, and I've enjoyed several of their roles before, so I have faith in their abilities, so their acting is probably going to be what's going to save this series, I'm thinking. Psychopaths takes place in the near future, when it's possible to instantaneously measure and quantify a person's state of mind and personality. This information is recorded and processed, and the term psychopaths refers to a standard used to measure an individual being. The story centers around the enforcement officer, Shinya Kagame, who's tasked with managing crime and the world of psychopaths. That synopsis came from my anime list, so if you want to read more about it, that's the place to go. I honestly don't know what to say about psychopaths, besides the trailer for it sucked a lot. But the random information I am finding about it makes it seem pretty good. Usually anything Gen Urobuchi does is pretty good, and I actually like Akira's, you know, Hitman Reborn style of drawing so I don't I don't know. Usually I score half from you know half the uh from the trailer and half from the information but this one I pretty much have to score only from the information. The information for Psychopaths gets a five out of five, but if I was gonna do score from the trailer, it would get a staggering two out of five because it's so bad. The trailer is just terrible. But at least it got music in it, so that's why it has two out of five instead of one. So all in all, 
Psychopaths is going to get a 3.5 out of 5 on my anticipation scale, and it will be on my watch list since it does seem pretty cool from what I've heard. And if you're interested in watching Psychopaths, it will be airing on October 12, 2012. Please like, favorite, and share this video if you enjoyed this preview, and make sure to leave a comment below letting me know if you'll be watching Psychopaths, and also let me know what you think of Psychopaths whenever it comes out. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next. I will probably either be doing Tanari or Kamesama. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to be doing first. So, I might just flip a coin. So, make sure to keep an eye out for whichever one I'm going to be working on next. Later.